914 and his show changed the face of children's television. But the lessons that Mr. Rogers taught are something everyone can use after this pandemic. Eric Gritmeyer, a former U.S. Marine and an expert in mental toughness, is joining us live via Skype with what we can take away from Mr. Rogers. And Eric, I have to admit, I mean, when I heard the idea, you're comparing everything to Mr. Rogers, I automatically, you know, you want to start taking your shoes off, change them up, start playing with dolls. What are you talking about here? Because he had, the, my favorite part was the trolley coming in. Hey, what I do for my virtual happy hours and what I do at home with taking my shoes off and my pet puppets is behind the scenes here, Tom. So we got to keep something secret. Okay? That's right. <laughs> well, uh, this brings back uh, my second grade, and from then on, my whole life, oh, Mr. Rogers, how's your neighborhood? So this really ties in a little bit different. We spell it different, but anyway, no relation to Fred Rogers. He still taught kids at a very young age. Basically, everything you need to learn, you learn in kindergarten, and he took it to another level. He sure did, Tom. He is just the epitome of love, caring, kindness, compassion, empathy. He was so far advanced, and he just taught all of us, not just kids, it's, it's, it's adults as well. We're all hardwired the same exact way. We're just different variations of the same core psychological blueprint. We all need love. We all need caring. He was the epitome of that. There's so many things he can teach us moving forward about how to love our neighbors. Using some of his lessons, I know that you're always talking about the EQ, not the IQ, but the EQ. Tell us about that. Yeah, so IQ and EQ are inversely related. IQ, you're born with it, you're smart, you're not smart. EQ is our, it's your emotions. It's how you handle your emotions. It's how we perceive, express, and respond to our emotions. And it's not just ours, but others as well. It's having control of how we act and also using that of how we deal with other people. We need to understand our words have impacts on other people. And Eric, always teachable moments. And right now we are in a six week and possibly up to eight week teachable moment here as parents and guardians are kind of trapped at home with their kids. And it's, it's a great time for doing some opportunities. But what do you tell parents and guardians out there to say, okay, use this to your advantage? Yeah, it's, it's an opportunity to teach our kids, Tom. I mean, life isn't easy. We're going to come across some difficult situations. Kids are going to come across that. As parents, we try to shelter them from that. But it's important to get them to understand their feelings right now and what they're, what they're going through. We have to give them an opportunity to have this emotional vocabulary they don't have right now. We have to start teaching our kids emotional intelligence skills. They don't get that in school. They memorize, regurgitate. Yeah, so school's teaching them certain things, and they've got limited on the time and what they can because they have a large one. But right now, we have our children to our own. We have uh, uh, undivided divided attention for them. I'll try and get that out. One last question for you here, because we are talking about uh, Mr. Rogers here. If Mr. Rogers was still alive and still had his show going on, what would he be doing, do you think, during this pandemic? Well, he had the per he had the perfect phrase for this. He said, "Let's use our world. Let's use our words to heal a broken world." And I mean, he really couldn't have said any better. Let's just get back to loving each other again. And I know it sounds rainbows and skittles and <laughs> you know and kumbaya, but let's just get back to loving each other. I mean, our words, our actions, they have impacts on other people. Let's understand that and get back to not assuming the worst in people. Let's assume people are, uh, love each other. That'd be a great place to start. All right, we'll leave it right there. Eric Rittmeyer, thank you so much. We always appreciate your insight here and your expertise. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Good seeing you, buddy.